Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on to the late 70s and early 80s. The thing which lands out most of my mind from that time, of course, is Star Wars, both the comic book, which you did with uh, Carmen Infantino, I recall, most often, and the strip, which you ended up doing with Al, Al Williamson. Williams. Right. Yes. Were you writing it? that name again. Al was, well, we did him yesterday, so hi, Al. We know you're there, like that. Uh, where you well, see you started on in the strip when Al started when he took up the thing after Russ Manning or were you writing it with Russ Manning any what? The we started doing the strip because uh, Al, along with Carlos Garcon, had did the adaptation of right. uh, The Empire Strikes Back, which right. I wrote, right. and uh, he liked doing it. He was about ready to quit the Secret Agent Corrigan strip. Right. So Lucasfilm had always wanted Al to do the Star Wars right, strip. Right. They'd never quite been able to get their schedules together. Mm-hmm. So um, when they they were looking and Al was available, right. so they sort of pounced on Al. Mm-hmm. And Al, as is wont, said, well, I'll do it if Archie will write it. <laughs> so we did the Star Wars strip for three years. And it was beautiful there, definitely. The Star Wars comic, we're going to have to ask about that because I just put the chicken before the egg or something like this. Yeah, I, I was doing the Star Wars comic book before the strip. Yeah, right. You took it over from Roy yeah. Thomas. Exactly. How did yeah. you? How did uh, Lucas, uh, did Lucas ask for you or did Marvel say, you do this or something like that? Uh, no, strangely enough, uh, Marvel wouldn't have been doing Star Wars if Roy Thomas hadn't right. brought them right. the project. Hmm. And um, Roy, after the adaptation, found he wasn't that happy continuing mm-hmm. the book. Right. And it was sort of up for grabs. I was editor-in-chief at Marvel at the time. and. We didn't know who to give it to, Mm -hmm. but I had just seen the movie and uh, abused my my rank and authority by saying, (laughs) well, gee, maybe I'll try writing it for a couple of issues, and Mm -hmm. uh, I wound up writing it for three years. Yes. And it was uh, it was a very memorable run, especially the bit with the issues with Infantino and I recall the uh, the Space Casino of Death or whatever the exact title of it was. I don't remember, but uh, that we, was we did everything. Right. It, it was, that was that was the nice thing about Star right. Wars is you could do almost any kind of story mm-hmm. uh, utilizing some of the characters in some way. Mm-hmm. And uh, plus they're great characters to write. Right. On this thing. Tell me one thing, one little bit I have to ask you about. Uh, you do when you do the adaptation of The Empire Strikes Back. You do this. They hand you a script uh, from this movie or something like that, and a couple of stills, and that's what you have to go with. Generally, what they do is they give you a complete shooting script, mm-hmm. which of course is never the final right. shooting right. script, and you pretty much have to work from that script. What I would do is uh, read through it a number of times, and then they mm-hmm. would send me out to California, uh-huh. and I would go through all the Lucasfilm. Uh, still books and and pick out with Al we would do roughly a thousand to fifteen hundred stills. Oh wow. Uh, The drawback to all this is the stills are always of the live action shooting. Right. The special effects are always being worked on right till the eleventh hour. So you don't have any real idea. Yeah. You have some production sketches Mm -hmm. and a little, you know, sketches, uh, models, right. a few things like that that you can look at. Mm-hmm. But you never quite know how it's all going to come together until it's too yeah. late. Well, the reason I asked this, I hate to hit you, in, but the funny, it. it's a funny bit, basically, because, of course, in the original script, the line before Han gets frozen into the block of metal or whatever it is they freeze him into, the last thing it does is turn to Princess Leia and says, I'll be back, like that. But they had a little bit of the funny improvisation in the uh, movie. So the final line ended up with uh, Leia she saying, says, I love, love you. you, and Tom says, I know, like that, plunk. Yeah, like that. and that, that was an ad right. on the set that wasn't right. in the script. And it got the best laughs in the whole movie. Yes, right. it, consequently, it's not in the, uh, in the comic. The, comic. Right. the same thing happened on Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, one, right. of the, one of the neatest bits in it is yes. when, uh, yeah, he goes to use the, the, right. the, the whip. whip when the guy comes at him with the sword and then thinks, bullshit, uses the... Uh, <laughs> the gun instead right and uh, that's not in the script right. anywhere that's because he was he was too uh, he was having a little bit of a problem at that time decided it'd be a lot less movement just to grab the gun instead of trying to use the whip like that no, it's also a, a lot more comfortable at that time it's a beautiful thing also yes. uh, in doing adaptations you never have any idea of mm-hmm. the uh, you have the script you have no idea of how the, the film is paced mm-hmm. and uh, when it comes out, I'm always amazed at how fast they're able to move the film, and it's very tricky to uh, 
try and get the equivalent of that in a comic book. Yeah. Do you and I'll go to the movie together and then take a look and say, oh my gosh, you know, I didn't know it was going to go like that, or, hey, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, I, well, you always uh, you always have mixed feelings yeah. uh, afterward, you know, mm -hmm. oh God, we well, we did that right, but oh God, <laughs> I wish we'd known about that. Yeah, right. Yeah, thing. So, okay, the long career you've had in comics from like 1961 on up, that doesn't seem so long to me, but I know it is long. It's about 30 years. 30 years. I know how well that makes me feel right now. But what has Better been... Better you than yeah, me. <laughs> what, has been, what has been some of the high points in it, you know, some of the most fun stuff you've done? Collaborations with, various collaborations with Al? Yeah, I would say working uh, anything I've done with Al Williamson, uh, Blazing Combat is certainly right. uh, something uh, I don't think I'll ever top. Uh, the Manhunter material with Walt. Right. Uh, being able to work with uh, Alex Toth. I love right. uh, Alex's right. work. Uh, yeah. I've worked with him on the Warren stuff and, and on some of the DC right. stuff. Right. Uh, I, I very much liked uh, writing Wolverine for Marvel, right. and I, I like writing Batman still. Right. And that seems to wrap it up, Archie. It has okay. been a privilege. Thank you very much, Lee. The Comic Book Show, live from the Dallas Fantasy Fair. Archie Goodwin.